Just call him Ron Paul the rock star. Something about the 76-year-old Republican hopeful has triggered a popularity surge among young voters. I uh, have frequently been asked, uh, why do I think the young people seem to be attracted to our campaign? And I said, well, why not? They believe in liberty, too, you know. And so uh, it, it is a delight that there's a, a, a tremendous attraction for the views that I hold. And uh, I, I, we shouldn't be surprised at all. So why is he attracting young voters? Joining us now are three young Ron Paul supporters. Heracles Niarcos is 25-year-old and a student at Drexel University. Megan Roberts is 22 years old and a recent college graduate. And Tanner Whittem is 19 years old and a student at Southern Methodist University. Nice to see all three of you this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Uh, we've got the Brady Bunch boxes up here, and perhaps that's somewhat appropriate this morning. Uh, Pericles, let me start with you. What is it about Ron Paul that has you excited to get out and support the man? Well, uh, I think probably it boils down to um, more so the ideas and the cause that he represents than actually the individual of Ron Paul. Um, you know, it's, it's a little bit different than the uh, youth craze for Barack Obama hmm. in the 2008 election. Um, a lot of uh, young people are, you know, they're romantic, they're looking for a cause, they're idealistic, and when you talk about peace and prosperity and uh, individual freedom, I think that's going to draw a lot of attention. Megan, Megan, does Pericles have a point here? It's not the man so much as it's the message of uh, civil liberties and the, and the liberty message. And he even was, had a moment during the debate the other night where he was well, sort of self-effacing, and he said, look, if I just spoke a little bit slower, maybe I would communicate that message better. Um, absolutely. I think uh, Ron Paul's philosophy, his um, message of limited government, um, abiding by the United States Constitution, uh, reigning in federal spending, I think these are all very popular ideas among young voters, and I think that um, it's really important. I think the other Republicans in the field should, take, should pick up on his ideas. Tanner, do you see a lot of difference between Ron Paul and the other candidates? Oh, absolutely. I think there's many differences between them. And, uh, you know, Ron Paul's the only one that I truly believe is has the right plan for the economy. He's the only one who's proposing budget cuts, and he's the only one who wants to protect our civil liberties. And uh, I think that's important. And I see a lot of differences, and I see it's also a trust and honesty between Ron Paul. Ron Paul is very honest and a trustworthy man, and I see that more than any other candidate on the field right now. Pericles, why isn't he resonating perhaps more with Republican voters if all of these things are true? Is it foreign policy which has held him back? Many critics say turning an isolationist eye to countries like Iran and others is a non-starter for many GOP, uh, GOP supporters. What do you say? I think foreign policy is probably a large issue. Um, a lot of older Republicans uh, have a perpetual fear about um, international calamity and disaster. And a, a friend of mine put it really well. She, she said, if you want to understand the difference between non-interventionism and isolationism, just look at the difference uh, between Sweden and North Korea. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, a lot of uh, older, uh, older Republicans start, uh, need to start looking at that. I mean, if, if I were Iran and I had uh, U.S. carrier groups all, off, the, off the coast, I had um, U.S. Uh, military on my borders, you know, I think I'd want to, want to look for a, a nuclear weapon. Imagine Make if China had... Uh, carriers in, in the Gulf of Mexico. Megan, we'll get you to respond to that same point. Foreign policy, is that one of the reasons maybe he's not resonating with Republican voters as much as some of the other candidates? I, I, yes, I do believe that is one of, the, one of his main differences and probably one of the, um, one of the points, of, points of difference with most Republican voters, yeah. Hmm. All right, Tanner, Megan, and Pericles, it's great to see young voters who are so engaged in the process, and thank you for waking up early with us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you oh, very thank much. You. Thank you.